Hello and welcome to this tutorial on using Twilio, uh, Integromat, and Airtable to get data to an Airtable uh, database that we can monitor and update um, the table based on user input. Uh, it took me a very long time to figure this out uh, using multiple tutorials to kind of piece them all together. So I do thank all those guys that, uh, that, that did that, but I'm putting this into one uh, one video in hopes that it helps uh, uh, everybody else out uh, trying to figure out what it took me weeks <laughs> to piece together. We need to create a bot to get this all going here. I've already done that. Um, I used a template and I use the appointment scheduling template and create the bot. You give it a name. You should already have a Twilio account. Uh, I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial, um, so you will have to figure that out, but it is pretty easy to get, a, get an account up and running with Twilio and get a number going, um, which you won't really need in this tutorial. So we need to create a bot um, to do this. We're gonna go, and we're just going to do a template uh, just to make things simpler to start off because it'll already have some of these samples in it and so I don't, I don't really want to go through all that. I'm, I'm assuming by now you know how to make uh, a bot. Um, I'm just showing you how to connect it to Airtable using Integromat. So we're going to create this bot. I'm just going to call it Appointment Demo because I already have Appointment Demo. So we're going to create this bot. So the bot is created. We're going to go, we're going to focus on book appointments, this task right here. Because this is where we're going to send our data. So right now, I have a couple of questions. I do want to add a couple more um, just for the purposes of this demo. Um, to make it a little more workable. So we're going to create a little question uh, we're going to do first name because we want to greet them a little later uh, using this data or at least talk back to them a little later using this data. And Twilio has a field type called Twilio dot first name, first underscore name. And we're going to do second one. for last name, which I guess we really don't need to do, um, actually, to make it a little more conversational, we'll just add a question now, instead of kind of a statement in a sense. Is all need to have Thomas and Tulu once again has a field type for last name that kind of looks for common last names. Now this doesn't always work if it's a very uncommon name, foreign name, uh, it's not very good. So you may want to change that later. But for our basic purposes, this will work. For now, let's get rid of this, dead white space here. So we're gonna save this. But now we need to send this um, to Integromat to 
uh, talk to Airtable. Now how we do this, we're going to go to Airtable first, and you also need to have an account um, with Airtable. I just realized I blacked out the top bar of this, but this is Airtable right above here. There's a little um, person, and you're going to click that, <clears throat> and then you're going to click on account, and down here this is going to be your API code. For these purposes, this is an active air table for me, so I don't want to reveal it, but if you click in this bar, um, it's going to reveal the API code. You can select it and uh, copy it uh, for the next step. But right now we're going to create a Airtable that I'm just calling JSON. So you'll just add a base. You're going to hit start from scratch. I need this JSON and you're going to change the field type to long text because it is a very, it's going to be a string that's going to parse out to you. So you're going to hit <coughs> Once you've done that, you're going to go to Integromat. Now here is Integromat.com. Now this is what I've created for my company. Uh, it's very detailed, but it just does show you what you can do once you have this figured out. Um, mine actually does calculations based on uh, starting point, ending point. This parses it into an actual directions. And then I do some math to give them a price quote um, based on what kind of vehicle type they have. Um, if it's a normal time, if they're, if these are after hours, if we add an, some extra money. But again, this is, this is a little more advanced than I'm wanting to get into right now. Uh, if enough people request it, I will um, maybe dive into it a little more. Um, but for our purposes, we're just going to go to Scenarios. And again, you also should have an, uh, you need to sign up for an Integromat account. Uh, and I'll have all these links in the description. But you're going to create a new scenario. And we need three things. We need uh, JSON. We need Airtable. And we need um, webhook. Those are the three things we need for this tutorial. So once you have those selected, hit continue. Now they're here at the bottom. But for, so we're going to start off with the webhook. Like so. And we're going to do a custom webhook which is instant, so it's always going to be looking for this once you have it set up. But we need to create a new webhook, which you'll just do add, you'll give it a name, and you'll hit save. I've already created one, so I'm not going to do it again, but that's all you need to do. And this is where it comes up, appointment webhook. And here is... Um, Webhook, it's giving you. I just clicked re redo, so I, it's it's going to start fresh and delete what it saved already. But right now, and this is what your yours will look like once you hit save after you've added your webhook. It's looking for that webhook to hit now. So you're going to copy this address to your clipboard, and you're going to go back to Twilio, and on our book appointments task. At the end, it's currently it's redirecting to the complete booking task. We don't want that. We want to send this to our webhook. So we're going to cop. We're going to paste this that webhook we pulled from the other um, one and then save this. So now this task is now going to going to redirect to this webhook. So we need to actually want we actually want it to do that. Um, because we want this webhook to, it's going to send that webhook out and this is going to read it and tell us, and it's going to determine what kind of format it's in so it knows what to do with the data. So 
we're going to initiate this. And it's going to ask for my name. And then another name. And we're going to go, let's say, Friday. Totally was going to parse that out into an actual date format. We're going to say 3 2 p.m. It's going to parse that out into a date format. And then we're going to ask for a number. So I'm going to use Hollywood. So we get an error, which is reasonable since we aren't actually sending any data back. But if we go back to Integromat, uh, we can see that it has successfully determined the type of hook it is looking for. So what we are wanting to do now, um, we're going to send this to Airtable. We're going to create a record. And you need to create your Airtable base, um, which again, from what I said earlier, You'll need to go back to an um, Airtable and get your account credentials. Uh, click there, your API, IP, API key will be revealed. You copy that and then you just paste it back into a Tegramat here. I've already done that, so we're not going to do that. But then that's my Airtable connection. And then here's our JSON. Uh, table and there's the table it's in and from earlier when it sent that webhook we are going to want the memory whatever air the memory that Twilio is sending to the webhook which in, has all the questions into it and we're going to have to go through this again because now we need to send what that data is to, to our Airtable so we can parse it out. So we're going to run this again. It's searching for that webhook. We're going to go back to Twilio. And we're going to do this whole thing again. Just to give get some data to look at. Uh, there you come in. Okay. And our Hollywood number. And okay. So now let's go back to Integromat. We can see it's ran. And you can see the data it's pulled in. Um, and it's sent it to our Airtable. So now we need to go to that Airtable, and you're going to open up your JSON Airtable, and here is the JSON that it sent, that that sent out. You're going to double click on it to open it. You're going to hit Command or you know Shift A to copy everything. You're going to copy that. Control C, or Command C. You know what thing you're working with. And now let's do one thing real quick because I actually like to leave this here um, while I'm building so I can, if I need to do this uh, next process over again, it's already there. So we're going to actually add in a router to this. We're adding a router. So that data is always going to get sent over there no matter what. But now we're going to do a JSON. We're going to parse some JSON in because we need it. Now that we've copied that flow, um, we can tell it how to read it. So we're going to add a data structure here. Um, you can name this whatever you'd like. Right, we'll test, and we're going to go here on generator. Right here in this sample data, we're going to paste 
that data we pulled in from the air table and save it. So now it's actually pieced out what this structure should look like. So you're going to save that. This is the really cool part with uh, Integra Math. So now in JSON stream, see we have that memory now. We're going to we're telling it to look at the memory string to parse it because it doesn't really know what to parse it just knows that sample so now we're telling it here to parse them that memory section like so so now before we go any further let's go back to our air table let's go to the main page here and I've created this another table called appointment test you can also Create this, start from scratch, name it appointment test, and hit enter. Um, but I've given, I've set these fields up that match the fields that the uh, Twilio is going to send into Airtable. So here, first name, last name, date, time, and phone number. So we're going to go back once you've set that up into IntegraMat and we're going to go and create another record and connect it to your JSON. And it's going to open up here. You're going to find that appointment test table and the appointment test which that the table is just this part of it. this part of it. So, since we've already run through this, you should actually have a parsed out version. So there you go. So in the collect data, you're going to go down. And so first we need the first name, which will be provided here with once it's all parsed out. Now your last name. date and the time and the phone number Enter, enter, enter. Okay. And click OK. And now you should be ready to go. Let's run this one more time. Go back to Twilio. And let's try this again. Let's point it. And 3 p.m. just to change things up a little bit and our Hollywood number all right so now if we go to um, our air table you should see it populate here bam our integer mat looks like it has parsed this out and again it has also sent it to here just in case you need to reference that in the future now we still get an error with Twilio because we're still not communicating back and this is what took me the longest time to figure out and once I did I felt pretty dumb but it is what it is so it's it's saying it's invalid JSON because you're not sending something back that it recognizes. So, what we're going to do is go back to your bot. Uh, we'll open up something like complete booking. This is valid JSON. This is what Twilio is looking for in their response. So we're going to copy that. Simple as that, no coding. Um, you're going to go back to Integramat. You're going to create a webhook response. You're going to attach that to the end of the Airtable. Once it's hit that Airtable, 
Now you need it to respond. We're going to copy that into here. We're going to delete the smiley face because that really doesn't make sense for our purposes. And then we'll do the exclamation point. And now here's the cool part. So that data that you've entered into Airtable is now available to use. So let's say we want to say, give them their first name back just to make it a little more personable. And now there you go. I'll get your point to you soon. And now we also need to add a custom header. This is about the only coding you'll need. So it's content type. You're telling uh, Twilio what you're sending them in the application. You're sending them back Jason. This is Jason. So you're just telling Twilio that's what you're tell giving to them. Uh, click OK. Let's run this one more time. This time, we're actually going to use voice to make it a little awesomer or cooler. We're going to go back to the simulator. We're going to make a call. Thank you for using your demo account. Please upgrade to a full account to remove this message. Thanks for contacting our store. I can help you book a new appointment, modify an existing one, or tell you about upcoming appointments. How can I help you today? Book appointment. Okay, let's get you a new appointment. I just need you to answer a few questions. Please tell your first name. James. And what is your last name? Anderson. Please tell me the date you want to come in. Friday. Thanks. And what time? 2 p.m. Awesome. Last question. What is the best number to reach you on? 555-123-4529. Five, 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 Thanks, James. I've booked your appointment. See For some reason, that ended early. Not sure why. But basically, it's never done that before. Could be something with a trial. But there you have it. That's how you connect Twilio to an Airtable database. Um using Integramat. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you want something more in the future, uh, please let me know. Again, I'm not a coder, so if it involves code, I probably won't be able to help you. But if you want me to dive into the other stuff or, or retrieving a record, uh, let me know, just depending on how popular this video is. I may just do that. Uh, so have a wonderful day.